Developments in computational and genomic medicine will lead to very important clinical advances, for example in genomic testing and targeted therapeutics, and these are already being translated into clinical practice. Bioinformatics is a very important discipline in the area of genomics as it develops computational methods for use to understand and analyse large biological data sets. It's very clear that advances in this field will ultimately lead to improved healthcare and society. But it's also clear that there's an urgent need for highly qualified experts to help work in this field. RMSC in computational and genomic medicine will train young scientists in the skills for bioinformatics and human genome research as applied to clinical practice. The programme is aimed at graduates of life and medical sciences who want to apply big data analysis to biological data sets in clinical practice. We also accept graduates from computer science, maths and statistics who are interested in learning about modern medical practice. We will provide students an outstanding learning environment and we aim to do this in a very nurturing manner. Each student will be assigned a personal tutor who will help choose optional modules and also advise on various aspects of the course. UCL is a vibrant multicultural institution with a range of very high quality scientists doing research across a wide range of disciplines. It is one of the best educational institutions in the world where the best scientists are actually doing some research. We're very excited about the possibilities offered by this MSc because we think the uh, juxtaposition of basic bioinformatics and bio biostatistics put alongside geneticists who are interested in the genetic basis and the molecular biology of disease offers a unique opportunity to moving this field forward. It's quite clear to everybody involved in biomedical science that the uh, huge opportunities that are offered by the large amount of data that are coming through uh, a range of studies, in particular genetics and genomics. And it's a real challenge to work out how best that we should be using these data to make inferences and insights into human genetic disease. We have to remember the first genome took well over 10 years and billions of dollars to be able to be captured. Now a genome can be sequenced for a relatively modest sum and a sum that is falling all the time. So the potential use of genetic and genomic data uh, put towards understanding the disease and most importantly in towards helping us manage those diseases creates an incredibly exciting opportunity for the next few years. One novel trend in life sciences is the development of new techniques that generate massive amount of data. One example of that is high throughput DNA sequencing, for example, where thousands or tens of thousands of patients can be sequenced, for example, to find the rare, the basis of a rare disease that affects a, a fraction of the population. And uh, given the overwhelming amount of data that are being generated, there is more and more demand of researchers who can understand those data, mine those data, and extract useful insights from all that knowledge that, uh, you know, that needs to be extracted from those data sets. So one type of project I'm involved in, in currently, for example, is uh, the, the search for the genetic basis of rare Mendelian disorders, so the rare variants that make individuals very ill and very many cases we still don't exactly know why those people have those uh, illnesses. So the way we do that, we have to look at very large sets of individuals and try to categorize healthy and cases and find in the cases a common denominator, the one thing that they share that is causing, uh, that is causing the illness. So those are by definition very large data sets because we can only understand what's happening when you look at the population level. And that's where those computational issues become very obvious and we need this training in computational sciences. My name is Delilah Zabane and I'm a statistical geneticist at the UCL Genetics Institute. I have joined UCL in 2009 and I work as a statistical geneticist in population genetics and genetic epidemiology. I have worked on a number of genetic association and Mendelian randomization studies. These provide insights on genes and pathways with possible applications in drug discovery and clinical diagnostics. Genetic association studies can involve handling very large data sets from a few hundred to many million single nucleotide polymorphisms. The MSc in Computational and Genomic Medicine 
offers modules that provide you with knowledge and skills to carry out similar work.